Where do you even go from here? It feels like it's going to be a new show. For me. This epic pointing at everyone motion. It's your turn. <laughs> Look at Bakugo. <laughs> My boy's growing up. <laughs> Here we go, picking up the pieces, I guess. Just as unresponsive as the last ones. I'm guessing this will be something like an epilogue for the last arc and an intro to the new one. And we haven't gotten any worthwhile information from the bar at all. We're still looking into that, sir. They're probably realizing just how long and how meticulously the villains have been planning this whole thing. I'd have to say this whole thing was a draw. Don't be stupid. I don't know about that. Our country just lost the symbol of peace. Okay, so everyone's clear on that. Everyone knows the indestructible hero can be defeated now. The citizens and When the you put it that way. <laughs> it's what we get for relying too much on one pro hero. Hey, that's what I've been saying this whole time. <laughs> Hate to think what that might inspire. Our initial profile right. of Tomura Shigaraki described him as childish and prone to tantrums. Oh, but he's changed. But obviously he had changed. one conversation with Deku. His plans are growing exactly. more strategic. He yeah. now appears to be focused on Very how to mold our society. <laughs> Very detailed analysis. Sugar Rocky can greatly expand his sphere of influence. Are you suggesting yeah, they have momentum, that all of this and they're determined. the leak's plan? That does yes. sound like quite a leap. Accept it. It's time we implement changes. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. The way he said changes. The mighty symbol of peace is no more. How does All Might feel right now? Won't just sit here. There's still something I must do. Damn right. I love it. The only proof we have of that is what all for one said. It's not much to go on. Yeah, except the two it. of you didn't have any interaction with Shimura's family, even though you were so close to her? No. But why not? Nobody came for Shigaraki. Come to think of it, it didn't occur to me at all last episode, but that might be extra reason why Shigaraki has such a vendetta against All Might. He's connected to the whole thing. His grandmother trains All Might, right? Something happens to his parents, presumably. And then if he's aware of that connection, he's watching All Might, his grandmother's successor, save everyone, but no one is helping Shigaraki, except for the opportunistic All for One, who immediately seizes on the opportunity. It happened soon after Shimura's husband was killed. Concerned, Here we go. Here's some her backstory. foster care to shield the youngster from the hero world. I'll find him and then... Then what? Give him a pat on the head? You're not looking at him like the villain he is anymore. That's dangerous. Remember that no matter his lineage, he's still a criminal. Yeah, but I think both are true. Like, all my heart's in the right place. It's true he's a threat, but I like the you idea of, you know, UN, talking you to him. still have many responsibilities there. Right, his work's not over. Don't forget that All Might is still alive. Right, right. And take care of yourself, buddy. <laughs> in other words. But someone like All Might, you can't turn that off. You know what I mean? He's going to be just as heroic. He's just not going to be, like, punching his way to victory. He's going to be smiling his way to victory. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. But he's, he's never going to stop. You don't have passion like that, a conviction like that, and courage like that, and then just fade off into obscurity, you know? After the fight, we met up with Todoroki and Yayorozu. The five of us took Kachan to meet the police. What's that mustache? The whole That's how I feel about that. He was silent. It's getting in, man. It's getting in to Bakugo. I'm sorry, sis. Is that how Endeavor comes home? He's been like that ever since he came home. Feel free to go say hi. If All Might really can't be the hero he once was anymore, then the number one spot well, that's right. is finally my father's. But I bet he won't be happy about it. He didn't win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got there by, like, I don't know, resignation or something like that. I don't accept it. Yeah. <laughs> Not like this. Like Bakugo. I should have earned it myself. Exactly. And I'll never have it now, forever. Things must have been difficult for you, too. But at least you're um, home. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. Have you seen my arms? No, you haven't. Because they're in casts. Did I do the right thing? Leaving him to fight alone back there? I feel like it was solid. I mean, the hero showed up. He wasn't alone. Let the, you know, let the senpais do their thing. Hey, where are you going? Dinner's ready. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Your... Don't ever skip on, skip out on a delicious anime dinner. What is wrong with you? <gasps> are we at the... Now it's time for Deku to train All Might at the beach. <laughs> or something like that. It sure took you long enough. Uh, oh, Texas. Uh, uh. Huh? Oh, I thought it was going to be Texas Hog. I got really excited. If you kids had gotten hurt, it would have all been in vain. You've got some bad influences. Deku sort of was one of the influences. It's clear that my body isn't going to allow me to fight another battle. You know what? It's kind of a relief. At least he won't die. Oh, what? He can still do that? The last sparks of one for all have left my body. Ah, okay. There we go. With some lingering sparks. A shadow of hope. It's not over till it's over. Destroying your body over and over. Yeah, I mean, you did say to metal. You managed to... I feel like some... 
sweet words are coming. But anyway, maybe this is All Might having reflected on it. I mean, am I wrong in saying that he sort of set Deku up? I mean, Deku's Deku. He's always been this way. That's how he has his powers in the first place. But All Might's messages weren't exactly discouraging towards like Deku rushing into battle. So either he doesn't realize that or he's been thinking about like mortality or something like that based on his experiences, which would be a totally natural response to what just happened. Rescue your friend. Yeah, sweet Without words. I knew it. Getting into a fight. I'm so Can't stay mad you. at you. <laughs> You're stuck with me. So let's keep working hard together. Why don't we just start right now? Let's just start right here on the beach. I'm sure there's some trash somewhere somewhere here. I thought we agreed that you'd stop it with the waterworks. Oh. <laughs> All Might's reign as top hero had come to an end. Wow, amazing. End of the beginning, beginning of the end. How is Best Genius doing? Please let us know. We need to know. We are very concerned. Some are pointing out that our troubles began when you started working here. They're worried the children will continue to be caught in the crossfire and that you can't protect them anymore. We must strengthen the faith people have in the heroes we have left. And spread out the work, for God's sakes. We're going to implement a plan I've had in mind for a while. I'm counting on you to convince the students' families. A lot of change is happening. Lots of changes. That was a very diplomatic... Was that fiery? Did he just get fired? Of All Might by Nezu. But I feel like All Might has just as much to offer as ever. The only thing he can't do now is like fight, but who cares? This is an interesting situation because it's it's a total power vacuum or a symbol vacuum or something like that. That's a clear win for the villains, I think, just comparing where we are now to where we started. But it's still anyone's game, right? And the heroes can rise to the challenge. There's plenty of great heroes to choose from, especially after Best Genius makes a full recovery. And I also feel like every time the villains make a, make a move and don't have a total outright victory, it makes the students more resolute and stronger and more experienced. And I feel like just the way the show is going, that's going to be the key. If not now, then eventually. Because it's not just ideas they've been given about what heroes are or what it means to be a hero. They literally have sacrificed for, for what's going on. They've seen firsthand what happens when things go wrong or when people are targeted or whatever. And they've been around All Might, watching him almost die. And they've been around Aizawa, watching him almost die. They've been around Best Genius, not even coming close to dying, etc. That's part of what makes this new arc so exciting. It's like, who knows, you know? We have two really, really powerful sides with tons of potential and no real way of knowing how it's gonna go. I believe wholeheartedly that UA can help her grow into the best hero she can be. Whoa. And when he says that, he means it. No need for you to be all formal, Mr. Aizawa. <laughs> we decided what we were going to do right after we got the notice in the mail. I Whoops. mean, you should have heard my old man during All Might's fight. My daughter's teacher is so hardcore! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of fans everywhere. Could have saved him a trip, but okay. I thought the parents would come down on us a lot harder. I suppose I owe you a drink. <laughs> no thanks. Nice, I'm getting drink. along. You kidding? Hell yeah! Get this kid in a dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kid and I'll kill you. Oh, if you hadn't been so damn weak, oh. you never would have oh. gotten caught and caused all that trouble. Interesting. Come on, you two, please. Timid father. <laughs> I wonder which parent he gets it from. <laughs> People were always fawning over him, whether he deserved it or not. It's probably yeah, that's why sort of the he problem. ended up like this. Yes. Yes. Those villains will not change his mind. He'll continue on his path. I can guarantee you of that. See, that's when I understood that the school was watching him closely. Yeah, yeah. Damn right. Leave it to Aizawa to cut right to it. We still trust you, though, so we'll leave him to you. Right? I mean, that means a lot. You know, these are the people who actually have stakes. They actually have skin in the game. Please train him hard and make him a good hero. I mean, they would have done it no matter what, because that's who they are. Drink for this one. <laughs> that was great. Midoriya's house is close by, isn't it? Ooh, Daigo's mom actually might be a tough sell. She's put up with a lot. Ooh, ooh, what is this? No. It's your turn. What exactly is Deku to you? He's piecing it together just like everyone else. <laughs> A fledgling hero with bright prospects. Is he growing or is it me? Oh, and thank you. Kaki! What the I hell was that? You! Did he just say thank you? A little man. <laughs> All grown up. We need to sit down with everyone in class A by day's end, right? Oh, but you make such a good pair. Oh, disappointing, but okay. I can't believe All Might is in our home. Be cool, Mom. It's totally fine. <laughs> This is not embarrassing at all. Don't look at his YouTube page. Don't look at his YouTube page. It's all All Might all the time. And I won't allow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? No, but she's... yesterday you Deku said I thought limit. about it since then. Yeah, she's been on, on edge for so long. Izuku has admired you for so long, even though he never developed a quirk as a kid. And then, miraculously, one suddenly appeared. What exactly is your relationship with my son? Enrolling, Izuku wants to be just like you. But if he follows your path, his future will be filled with blood. I mean, she's not wrong. But he's my son. Yeah. 
I mean, this is an obstacle we have to get through for the show, but like, I can't say I don't sympathize with her. I told you I'd support you, but that I wouldn't stop worrying. Do you remember that? <laughs> you gotta let Deku do his thing. I mean, like, this is totally who Deku is. There's no stopping it. I mean, no matter what she says. But I feel like Deku could have maybe made the situation a little bit better by thinking about his mom a little more. You know what I mean? Like, he keeps making these promises he's not, not filling. She's 100% right. Like, the way he's going now, he's not gonna make it. He's not even gonna graduate. And now he's the next one. You know, he's the symbol of peace. Do we not have the infrastructure to, like, let Deku chill for a bit and finish his high school training at, at the very least? Nevertheless, it's gotta happen. I mean, he's, he's got a dorm. Think of all the fun we could have in the dorms with our, our friends. And I know all you want is to keep going to UA, but... I can't take it anymore. Time for legal emancipation. I shouldn't have been surprised. Yeah, I'd yeah. been ignoring my mother's feelings for so long. I mean... <laughs> when the villains attacked, every class had to be cancelled. All Might of course understands this. Your students from getting seriously injured, almost killed. I mean, I bet it weighs on him too. It's my own fault that I kept getting hurt. The teachers warned me over and over I mean. again. <laughs> there are lots of other hero courses out there besides the one at UA. Not like UA though. They don't have Aizawa. Izuku! That this must be heartbreaking. Yeah, but it wasn't the right solution, storming up like that. Mom, it doesn't have to be UA. Oh? It's from the boy I saved at the training camp. Koda, right. someone who hated heroes and quirks, wrote to thank me for saving him. When I read this note, even if it was just for a moment, it made me feel like a real hero. I know who I'm meant to be, and that's what I'll train for! At UA or not, I swear it! Wow. He just continues to Im impress, yeah. You are not this just an aspiring power hero form worthy in my footsteps. Yeah, he's his own thing. You are on your own path yeah, toward yeah, yeah. greatness. For sure. As your teacher, I must walk beside you. Whoa! Holy crap. Holy crap, this is huge. He is my choice to become the world's next symbol of peace. Wow. It's true that my path has been filled with blood. That is what makes me the right person to help him find his own way. Free of the mistakes is... that I made as a young hero. She's so right. We're committed to ensuring the safety of our students from here on out. It's our top priority. I don't even know where to begin with this one. I mean, first of all, Deku. It's one of those things where, you know, after you see what he does, you're like, why am I surprised? You know, he's amazing. But speaking of cutting to what's important, the UA thing is sort of artifice. Deku will be, and already is, you know, to a large extent, the thing he needs to be. I mean, it would be a huge loss not having Aizawa as a teacher, but at this point, the only thing that will stand in Deku's way is like him destroying himself to get the things he wants. And then for All Might, which is really moving to me, the realization of that, the realization that he was somewhat blinded by his responsibility. Not that his responsibility wasn't important, not that he shouldn't have been, not that it was the wrong call or anything like that, just the humility as the world's number one most famous best whatever hero to like on the spot recognize a weakness and deficiency and to immediately atone for it or try to atone for it or at least acknowledge it to the people it matters to is amazing. And I feel like the fact that he followed that up with the confession really, really shows the commitment to it, really shows the understanding. He might have just let that out, you know, but to come clean like this, come out in the open like this, shows total respect, I think, for Deku and his mom. Honesty can be really, really tough when there's, you know, an outcome we feel we need involved. And All Might has a superhuman level of attachment to the idea of, like, having a symbol of peace. So he continues to impress me. You know, he impressed me last episode when he didn't mention his role as much in what gave him the resolve to continue fighting. It was his teacher and the students. That, I think, is one of the strongest element of a lot of these characters. And I'd put Aizawa in that same category of people who, like, they just know what's up. You know what I mean? Like, they know what's important. And they just get right to it when they can. I also love how it's yet another instance of Deku inspiring All Might. You know, like, still he's doing it. And he'll probably continue doing it, too. Together we will go beyond. I will lift him up. And I will protect your son, even if it costs me my life. I believe him. Mom felt that. I can't. After all that, <laughs> come on, Mom. I want Izuku to be safe and happy. You can't have it both in this situation, it seems. If you can promise me you'll do that, then... He can return to UA. I mean, that's about as Mom. sincere a, a promise that you'll ever get in life. I promise. Yeah. If you're going to go back to this school, you have to be so careful. Stop meddling. <laughs> Take good care of my boy. Yeah, the biggest tragedy of him not going to UA, wow, would have been Aizawa, but also the crew. Like, you can't take him away from the crew, man. Oh, and credit. 
And here I we go, the beginning of the light. escape. Take all this experience, loathing, and regret, and use it as you move forward. Now, it's your turn. Yeah, I mean, Shigaraki is really a threat. He's growing a lot. Even though he hasn't had a lot of screen time, it's obvious. And it was Deku, <laughs> in part, who launched him on this journey, funnily enough. Because that's our Deku. <laughs> Always meddling. So here I thought this was going to be a little wrap-up epilogue, you know, a little <laughs> end of the arc thing, beginning of a new arc. And it was, but it was also so much more. <laughs> it was such a touching scene, just on all fronts. Like, I understand the, the mom and where she's coming from exactly. And Deku being his usual awesome self, like, of course he wants to stay at UA, but recognizing that he can still do his part, not really caring about, like, things that might be considered more superficial like just you know legacy the fact that all might attended and was willing to sacrifice that to make his mother happy knowing that he's going to do whatever he has to do to still make his dreams a reality and taking such enjoyment or gratitude from the fact that he was able to be a hero just once you know that's a really refreshing take too you know like one thing i've been thinking about a lot recently is the idea that my scope i think was all wrong for accomplishments like doing something good once even in a tiny little microcosm of existence is way more than it seems i think the way heroism is often framed is in like an all might context where it's a big stage and there's like a, a grand action or battle that the whole world sees or whatever and although it probably sounds cliche the idea really resonates with me that heroism exists at a really small local level too and that comes from like doing the things that feel right and doing the things that you can do when you can do them and being ready for them having the disposition and the personality that we build for ourselves so that we process things in a way that ends up being heroic when they arrive. You know, because so much of life is circumstance. Big moments of heroism, a lot of times I think, come down to like place and time and birth and all these things. But the individual moments are sort of where it's at, especially when you consider the fact that that's what the world is. You know, the world is a collection of individuals making individual actions. So it speaks to Deku's true intentions that that is where his mind went. His mind went to the, the person he knew he helped rather than the grand stage. Although he's thinking about that too. And then All Might, the world's greatest hero, like forever, being able to bow before Deku and his mother and sincerely dedicate his life. Like, that's not a joke what he said. Like, he 100%, 1000% plus Ultra meant that. And he will do that. And what's beautiful about a character like All Might is I feel like he's a man of everything. But it wasn't necessarily the everything that he was after. It was following a set of principles. It's like a process he built for himself based on things he really believed in. And so just because he's lost his powers, mostly, doesn't mean he can't keep applying that process and that's the process that gives him strength it's like the, the fire inside of him that we saw last episode and i think probably to most people watching it's immediately obvious he's going to continue to do a lot of good and deku is a great thing to devote himself to i mean for one it's just an extension of what he used to do right but also deku is clearly someone worthy of that kind of devotion so all in all this living room scene ends up being just super powerful and amazing <laughs> you never know with shows like this although i should know by now <laughs> so yeah that's the end of the beginning and the beginning of the end i'll see you guys next time when best genius <laughs> gets out of the hospital <laughs> Where is he?